What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and if you're new here, please hit that subscribe and always give us that like. It really helps us out. We got another good one for you today. So we've been in the van for about a few months now. We've added some things, we've removed some things, but we found that these are 10 van life essentials. We really need these. No better way to start you off than with our coffee, or in this case, the Nano Presso for our espresso. It's our portable espresso machine, and this by far is definitely essential for me and I know for other people. And we wanted something really small that we could bring with us and it could fit in the compartment down there, and we could have espresso wherever we are. It's super easy. All you do is fill up the water here once you heat your hot water, and you put your freshly ground beans in this side, in the filter, porter filter, you put it back together, and this part is the pump and you pump it out and really the whole thing only takes like one minute. It's a super great idea and if you don't like grinding your own beans or if you don't want to bring a grinder with you, they do have a Nespresso version so you can just buy a pack and put it in there. We do have other coffee things with us but for our top 10 essentials for van life, this is a product that I really wanted to show you guys and we've been using it a lot. Super quick and easy, easy to clean and that rolls us into our next one. So we know every van is different, but one thing is the same. They're all small, so you gotta utilize the space that you're given. That's why we ordered custom bins from Etsy to fit in this small space over here. So this space is kind of awkward because the mouth of the opening is bigger than the back, so it kind of slants down. So that's why we had to order custom bins to fit perfectly, and that's how we fit all of our clothes. So you might not be able to see all the way back here, but we're able to fit our window covers with the clothing bins as well. So a stove top does come with the van, but we wanted something else, a little bit more that we could bring outside and really enjoy. We love grilling. So we did a lot of research and this is what we came up with, the Blackstone. It's still portable enough where it fits perfectly in here. I keep it on a bungee cord just to, so that it keeps it upright and tight in here so it doesn't move around too much. But it comes with its own carrying case and it's been amazing so far. So this is where we keep our propane tank. It's actually in the sewer hose compartment there's a lot of room in there, but it's just sewer hose for the gray water, so don't get worried. But yeah, this is where we keep the propane tank for the grill. Perfect little spot, closes back up, easy enough. So underneath the top of the grill, I actually keep our uh, scraper. It's pretty nice, and then also we have this component too, which is also for um, the propane hookup. So it's super simple. You just hook up the propane here on the side, and then you got your griddle. I think it's pretty much a 17 inch square. So. It's a lot of room. I mean, we use it a lot. The only thing I would say is when it gets windy, it can get tough. Um, it will blow and it doesn't heat up as much, but when we have no wind um, or even a light wind, it does a great job. Heats up, we can use it for breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever you want, cooking chicken, eggs. It's perfect, so really have liked this so far. So it comes with its runoff compartment as well, which is really easy. Been super simple to clean. I mean, just you gotta know when you have griddles like this, it's, it definitely takes a little bit of oil. You're gonna need to put water on it then and use lots of paper towel or some other thing to wipe it down to keep it clean. Um, and then this was on Amazon as well for a scraper and it's been working great for us when we wanna um, cook outside and not use our inversion top. So in our van, we have this tiny little secret compartment back here and that's where we keep our handy dandy vacuum. <laughs> So this is a shark vacuum. It's meant for cars. We use this about every other day. Honestly, it's been great. You charge it once and it'll last a full vacuum and then I just charge it again and save it for next time. So this is really simple. You just have your power on button and then this button pops out so you can empty it. Super simple, super easy. I love it comes with this extender so you just plug it in and then has a little fuzzy thing this is great for the seat so it doesn't scratch the leather so this is our camp chair it's the flex like camp dreamer from REI when we were looking for chairs we wanted something that could pack down pretty tight and that was also light as well so that we could take it to the beach or to the park and this fits perfectly in our black box as you saw earlier and it's, gr it's great and it's really easy to put together. Um, there's only a few s simple steps. So it does come with a headrest that you can put behind here and it connects, but I tend not to use it. Lisa does like it. And then it also has two cup holders where you can put your phone or your cup. 
Number six is Porta Pack. So in our 10 Things You Gotta Know video, we mentioned RV Digest. It's an eco-friendly bacteria that liquefies solids and toilet paper. And we, we thought it did a good job. It just had a really, really weird smell. And one of you guys mentioned in the comments to try Porta Pack. So that's what we did. So it does the same exact thing. It just has a better smell. This smells worse than bathroom in itself. This smells like flowers. This is so much better. And when you're in such a small space, your van cannot smell like bathroom. So this did a great job. Bike rack is pretty essential for us because we love the bike. We took the bikes off just to show you what the rack looks like. And when we were looking at this, we really, there's a couple different options that you can get. There's some that like attach on the side and you have to have a couple different plates, but it's pretty intrusive. We wanted something that just went right into the hitch. And this has a swing arm on it and it's all in one. So it's really nice. So all you have to do is open this up. It swings out and it's made from Rocky Mounts. That's the brand. And it swings out perfectly. So your bike is right here and it has this mechanism. So if you had your bike on it and I'll show you what it's like with, with the bikes on it. You put it here, you put this over your tire and it clamps down onto your tire and then there's secu secure right here. It also clamps onto your back tire. Easy to open up the door. So you have that. And then when you're done, put it back in, super simple. So it's like that. And then you just turn this back in. The thing I would mention with this one, is it swings out to the right. So sometimes the ladder does get into the way. It doesn't fully open up the door. Um, it, there's other brands that do have ones that slip out to the driver's side, which might be more beneficial for you. It wasn't too expensive where other brands kind of get pretty expensive. Um, it's super sturdy. It's been great so far. We've had no issues with it. Nice. Number eight, adhesive hooks and Velcro. Because we don't want to put holes in our van, we like to use non-intrusive solutions. So for the first one, we have our Nanner holder. Because these take up a ton of room on the countertop, I like to hang them up. For Velcro solutions, we use it for our curtains. We use it for the countertop extender, even our fan remote. We use it for our yoga mats and even the nets above our bed. So these are our privacy curtains and they come in handy for multiple different reasons. Mainly, obviously for privacy, when we go to sleep and when we park somewhere, we can put these down and it really actually gives us that blackout effect. So in the morning, it blocks out a lot of the sun. So it keeps it also really dark in here so we can sleep in for a long time if we want to. Not that we really do, but then you can roll them up pretty easily. There's a couple different solutions that you can find for curtains and we just found this was the easiest. They're with the Velcro like we showed you earlier and Lisa rolls them up or I roll them up. I'm not really good at rolling them up. And then we tie them together and it keeps them steady right here and holds them up here. And then also when you have them down, it keeps the heat that like accumulates from here um, and it doesn't let it inside the van. So that's a really nice feature. And also when we're, re when we're really lazy and we don't wanna put up the shade, the window shades, we just put these down and um, it's a better solution than putting the window shades up all the time. Just for changing your clothes and things like that, like it's really nice to have some privacy in your own home, especially because we're living in here full time. So just makes it a little bit cozier, makes it more of our space and feels like we're not just in the parking lot of a Cracker Braille. Number 10, Kindle. They're great because they're so small and portable. We just keep them up here over our nets above the bed. And honestly, we've read so many books. You can't bring 10 books in here. So it's just kind of the best of both worlds. You can be entertained, but still save space. That's it. Hopefully you can use some of those items. They've helped us out a lot and we continuously change what we have. So I'm sure we're gonna have a different video <laughs> coming up at some point, adding some few things. But those are the things that, 10 things that we felt would be really beneficial for other people or we find that are cool. So if you really enjoyed it, give us a subscribe, always give us a like and tune in for the next videos. We got a lot more coming for you guys. See you on the next one.